during Consensus 2022, there was an announcement of a cryptocurrency debit card that you could load up with cryptocurrency and make purchases anonymously, essentially, uh, in USD. So this was obviously super, I was super bullish on this because it was right along the lines of what I expect cryptocurrency to be able to enable you to do. It would be super convenient in the case of basically going out and making purchases at places like, you know, little coffee shops or whatever it may be where they use those new Square Cash apps and stuff and they always try to get your phone number and send you text messages and whatnot. And then somehow your debit card's tied to the entire ecosystem. And every time you make a purchase, it's recorded and you sign up for some stupid text message alerts that you don't want anymore. And I was like, this would be amazing. So that was my reasoning behind it. Nothing nefarious or anything like that, but they have an official announcement. It was called the edge card. And let me get this pulled up right now. Looks like it did not stick. Boom, bam. All right. So Here's the official announcement on the status of the Edge card. It says, first and foremost, we want to say thank you for the excitement that we have seen from the community with respect to our card launch yesterday. That was on June 8th, as well as the numerous outlets that have helped raise awareness of our announcement. We sincerely apologize to any users that have been negatively impacted by the unanticipated challenges we have encountered while launching this product. We hope to provide some clarity around the situation. With our announcement receiving a lot of attention across the community yesterday, users will notice that messaging on our website regarding the card has been temporarily removed and the use of the card inside our app has been temporarily disabled. Son of a gun. As noted in our announcement, this program is in full compliance with the rules and regulations set forth by regulatory bodies in our card issuer's templated card program. With this said, at this time, we have been asked to take down our content and put on hold the availability of the card program while we work diligently with our card program manager and card issuer to resolve these unanticipated challenges as quickly as we can. Rest assured that nobody's funds are at risk. Any user who would like refunds for their topped up cards may contact us at support at edge.app. We can assure you that all parties involved are putting 100% of their efforts into resolving this successfully as quickly as possible, and we appreciate your patience as we work to do so. To receive updates on the status of the Edge card, please enter your email below. So, link down in the description if you want to get status updates. I will be trying to get status updates, of course, because this is disappointing. What could have happened here? It's hard to say, but it does seem like because they announced, like, it being within compliance of regulatory bodies and rules and regulations, etc. To me, it sounds like regulatory bodies came in and were like, no, 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 you can't do this. You're not, you got to get some KYC going here so that we can tell who's loading up these cards with what Bitcoin and, and other cryptocurrency. And I think, unfortunately, the world we live in, stuff like this is going to happen more and more often the ability to enable sovereign in you know sovereign individuality you know basically allowing individuals to participate within financial markets without the interference of governments etc is going to be a hard fought case and we have to stand for it because i do think at this point we are getting closer and closer to the fact that we have a a crossroads here and we can pick to go one of two ways one is the way forward that would include things like a central bank digital currencies, which would put more of the control into the hands of nation states, specifically like the federal government here in the U S or the fed specifically, and remove even more checks and balances like the banking system. And the other path is that the users say, no, you know, like I talk about the 7 billion people in on this planet, the, the common man says, no, we prefer to utilize something that empowers the individual like Bitcoin directly and bypass you all. The thing is, is that while they can't control everybody, that sort of thing, like we've talked about before, there will be examples that will be made. Uh, pro products like this will be scrutinized and it will be extremely difficult uh, to move forward down the proper path. The proper path is never really the easy path to take. And I do get concerned that from the perspective of just cryptocurrency as a whole and, and the common person, 
they're so inundated with just trying to survive right now with the prices of gas hiking and, and food and all of that. It's really hard to focus down on what's actually happening. So I want to make it clear when we talk about these things that this is kind of what is cranking in the background. These are the gears that are turning. This is the path forward that we get to choose and the people do get to choose it. And I do trust that people in general do want to go the proper direction. The, the question is how much complacency will there be surrounding it, especially when it is being attacked during a bear market. Is pretty common though. Once again, it's cyclical. We see this every four years at the having of Bitcoin. And it's just one of those things that we're going to have to get used to and learn how to navigate and keep the dream alive, really, at this point. And, and there's so many ways in my life where it is about trying to keep the dream alive, even so much as the uh, YouTube channel here, right? Because we are focused on a topic that is waning in popularity. And that does tell me that people are losing interest. And unfortunately, I think a lot of that's due to the idea in obviously we have 80% of our viewers in the U.S. And the problem there is that the U.S. population considers cryptocurrency as a get rich quick type uh, product. And that, that is really the wrong way to look at it. We should be looking at it as the individuals in oppressed countries look at it. You need to read up on how it's helped Ukraine, how it's helped individuals in Venezuela, that sort of thing. And realize that even though you are in a privileged geographic location, that the purpose of cryptocurrency isn't just to get rich. It's just to enable individual sovereignty, especially as it pertains to, of course, finances. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.